Today, we're going to talk about the best and easiest ways to cook summer corn. I'm up here in Leland, Michigan, where corn is plentiful. When you do cook it, there's several different ways. There's actually three ways. You can grill it, you can microwave it, or you can boil it. Each has its pros and cons, and it's mostly a personal preference thing on how you do it. So grilling probably gives corn the most flavor, but it also takes the longest to cook. Microwaving is the quickest, about one to two minutes per ear, but the corn is best microwaved with the husk on, which means waiting for it to cool before husking the corn. So the method that we'll be talking about today is boiling corn. I like the simplicity of boiling. You don't need to cook the corn until you're ready to serve the meal. So first, I want to talk about the different ways that corn is sold in stores. So the first way is one that's where the corn has been picked clean. You'll see these in a container with maybe four to six ears of corn and there's no husk on it. That problem with this type of corn is it's drier and less succulent than corn with the husk on. The second way is a partial clean. You can see it's got half of the husk on and it's half cleaned. It's better than completely clean, but not as good as buying corn with the husk and the silks still attached. Which brings us to what you probably guess is the best corn to buy in the store, and that's corn that has the husk and silks still on there. Um, husking a corn that is not boiling hot is a snap. A little silk won't kill you, but do the best you can to clean it. So all you do is you start up here at the top, pull down, get as much of this as we can until we get to the corn itself. There we are. A lot of the silk is up at the top as you can see. So we can pull that off and get as much of this silk up here as we can. All right, and once we cook the corn, we're gonna serve it in one of these cute little corn dishes that you probably, if you're of a certain age, grew up with. The boiling method that I use to cook corn is to take the husk, and this is a pot of cold water. So you just stick the husked corn in the pot, turn it to high, and once the water boils, the corn is ready. No need to time it. The only thing you have to do is be ready to serve it once it comes to a boil, because if it sits in the water, it can become a little more mushy. But this is cooking secrets for men, and one of the things we want to do in Cooking Secrets for Men is to teach shortcuts and tricks that help you in the kitchen, still impart flavor, and the cooking methods are sound. We're just saving a little bit of time. So once this comes to a boil, we'll be back. All right, as you can see, it's starting to begin the boil. We're gonna wait till it gets to a rolling boil. And while we're doing that, I wanna thank everybody who's a subscriber and a follower. If you're not, I'd like you to go ahead and subscribe. Please comment and like our videos on YouTube and also on our website, cookingsecretsformen.com. So corn will come to the top. It's not gonna sink to the bottom. And you can see it's turning as the water boils. So give it about another 15, 20 seconds. We get a nice rolling boil. And this is as simple as it gets. So while your corn is coming to a boil, you have about 10 minutes to do other things to prep. And I think we're right at the point where we want to take it out. So we're gonna turn off the heat. We're going to get our little dish with some butter in the bottom. Take out the corn, let it drain a little bit. We're going to put it in our corn dish. And one of the things we have here at our house in Michigan is little mini salt shakers. So just put a little salt on top of that, turn it around, a little bit more, and there you have it. The easiest way to cook corn in the summer. Put it in a pot of cold water, let it come to a boil, and it's ready. So I hope you enjoyed this tip, a little shortcut. Thanks for watching, appreciate it. See you next time.